If you come over the top, that ball's over there. If you come too far from the inside, you're throwing it way out to the right. Immediate feedback. If you release early, the ball's going out early. If you're too quick in your swing, you know, it's gonna fly out way early. It's all about finding that perfect timing to accelerate, to rotate, and to release. But, disclaimer, if you use this incorrectly, it will jack up your swing and you'll hit some awful shots, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the chuck it, the dog toy. You know, you play catch with your dog with this, right? You can't even throw it straight. How do you use the chuck it? You hold it like this, got a little grip deal, and you throw it and you, you know, you kind of stop it and the ball goes. Fantastic. A lot of people out there think this could help your golf swing. Well, they're right and wrong at the same time. If you use it the same way you throw it, you're gonna mess up your swing and you're gonna hit some horrible shots. The theory behind it is you would keep your arm in the slot and release and throw the ball, right? Here, keep your arm in, great, chuck the ball. Fantastic, it sounds great, right? You're in here, Whew. release. Let me show you what that does, because you have to learn, well, you have to know what's wrong first so that you just don't do it and you gotta know why. When you use the chuck it like this in here, it looks pretty and it looks like it should be right and you're just like, wham, throw that ball, get it straight, everything's gonna be fantastic. What you're doing is you're training yourself to bring that club away from the inside and release with your hand, a lot of release. So it's a lot of right hand rotation. And what that's gonna do in your club as you hit the ball is you're gonna come away from the inside and you're gonna release the club. So your club is going to be rotating a lot, the face rotation, and traveling from the inside. So your shots are gonna be something like this. I mean, I hit it solid, but you get this giant hook shot. And as you progress to your longer clubs, particularly your driver, that's gonna be even more dramatic and you're gonna start getting the snappers. So, whatever you do, do not use the chuck it as you would think it needs to be used, okay? Because that is gonna produce that giant hook shot, uncontrollable, especially under pressure or under the gun when you're nervous. You don't want that. Let me show you what we're trying to achieve with chuck it here. How to use the chuck it correctly for golf. Instead of holding it as you would think you would hold it and chuck it like this, I want you to reverse this thing backwards, literally backwards, and put your left hand on it like so. And then your right hand goes on like this. So the chuck it is actually as if you're gonna throw it back this way. What does this do? Well, now you're gonna swing and you're just gonna hold the ball in the chuck it and rotate and that ball should, if you do it correctly, and it's hard, it's not easy to time right, you should have the ball release right there. And then now, that released down here. So that is going to be a little early release. So I'm going to have to hold on a little longer, right? A little bit better, but I really want that right in here. That's what I want. So if you go too fast, you're way back here. And that's just early release, you're hitting it fat. Too late, okay, too late, you're just holding on too long, all right? So keep working on it and you're gonna find that you're gonna be in here and you're gonna turn and rotate and everything's gonna be perfect. And let's see if I can get one. That was perfect. That was perfect. That's right where we want it, right there. Let's see what that looks like on video. See it coming down the ball. Great hold, great lag, great extension through the ball. I love that.
perfect positions here. You're rotating and now you really fire and you see that ball just flies out perfectly down the target line. That's exactly what we're looking for. So for five bucks, 580 or something on Amazon, leave a link in the video description below, you can get the chuck it and totally fix your hook and your slice because you cannot, if you come over the top, that ball's over there. If you come too far from the inside, you're throwing it way out to the right. Immediate feedback. If you release early, the ball's going out early. If you're too quick in your swing, you know, it's gonna fly out way early. It's all about finding that perfect timing to accelerate, to rotate, and to release. And you can't tell somebody when and where and how and what to feel, but you can make them feel it. And using this, like in the reverse position, taking it slow, getting into here, try to go as fast as you can through here without letting the ball come out and then release and fire through right in here. That's the explosion, that's the acceleration, that's everything you need to get that club maximum speed, maximum control, maximum everything with the least amount of effort. So do this 500 times, feeling that. Then what you're gonna find is you're gonna hit right after that, you're gonna hit farther, you can hit straighter, you can hit better. Everything's just gonna be in sync like never before. You see how straight that went? My club path, my club face, my club, like everything's nearly zeroed out. I thinned it a touch, but you can't hit, a, it curved one foot, five inches. That's how straight you're gonna hit the ball after you do the chuck it drill. And all I'm doing is trying to release right like that. You can't teach it, you can only feel it. So if you're struggling with your swing, you're all over the place, you can't get anything timed up, synced up, give the chuck it a try, but make sure you use it, let's say backwards, instead of like, conventionally for the golf swing. And for under $6, you can get fixed up just like that. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Comment below. Let me know if this is working for you. I love you guys. See you in the next video.